Okay, chapter nine, stock valuation. Okay, uh, okay. so hopefully this is uh, pretty much uh, a review from previous classes, uh, 3301 investments, so forth. So, uh, but um, uh, key concepts and skills, understand how stock prices depend on the div dividend, future dividends and dividend growth. So, um, because, uh, be able to compute stock prices using the uh, dividend growth model. This is also the constant growth model. Hopefully you've seen it before. It's also referred to as the Gordon growth model. Understand uh, valuation of comparables. So we use uh, things like PE ratios to do uh, to uh, do comparables and uh, calculate uh, prices based on comparables. Um, the understand the basics of the stock market. So, chapter outline, present value of common stocks, the um, estimates of parameters and the dividend discount model, uh, comparables, um, value of stocks using free cash flows, and then stock markets. So, present value of common stocks. So, the value of any asset is the present value of its expected future cash flows. So, you know, when we uh, in the previous chapter with bonds, we had certain cash flows, so we know exactly what those cash flows are going to be and when they occur. That's not necessarily the case with a stock, so we estimate what those are going to be. Um, so, so stock ownership produces cash flows from dividends and capital gains. So, the and then we're going to evaluation of different types of stocks. We'll have zero growth. Uh, the most common zero growth example is a uh, uh, is preferred stock. Um, there are some different types of debt in, uh, in, in Europe that would also be valued similarly, but that's a different topic for a different course. So constant growth and then differential or non-constant growth. So zero growth example. So you assume the dividends are going to remain at the same level forever, which is the case with a preferred stock. So you have D1 is equal to D2, D3, and so on forever. Since the future cash flows are constant, the value of a zero growth stock is the present value of a perpetuity. So that is, um, we just we can sum up the present values of all, all of the future cash flows simply by dividing the dividend by the required rate of return. Um, just in the note, in my notation, I always use a, a lowercase r. Uh, it, uh, lowercase r or a k for uh, cost of capital are probably the most common, but uh, the author chooses to use a capital R. They refer to the same thing. Constant growth. So they we're assuming that dividends will grow at a constant rate forever. Uh, I D1 is equal to D0 plus one times one plus G. Uh, D2 is equal to D1 multiplied by one plus G or D0 multiplied by one plus G squared. Uh, one thing to note, whatever dividend you have, you're going to calculate the price in one period prior. So if you have D1, you will calculate the price or P0 uh, in one year prior. So if you have D2, you will calculate the price one year prior. That would be P1, the pri price in year one or one year in the future. So D3 is D2 multiplied one by one plus G or D0 multiplied by well, one plus G cubed. So, so since the future value grow, uh, future cash flows grow at a constant rate forever, the value, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the constant growth stock is the present value of a growing perpetuity. So P0 is equal to D1 divided by R, the required rate of return, minus G, the growth rate, the perpetual or, or growth rate or the growth rate in perpetuity. Now we have D1 here and P0 here. If we had D2 here, we would have P1 here. So one price, one year in the future. Uh, constant growth example. 
So we have uh, Big D Incorporated uh, just paid a dividend of uh, 50 cents. So they, uh, this is important with regard to, if I can get the pen here, there we go. So just paid. That tells you that this is D0, okay? So in order to calculate this, this price, we've got to have, uh, um, have a uh, um, we've got to have d1 so so this is right here this is our g and then our r is 15 percent so p0 is equal to d1 divided by r minus g it's also equal to d0 times 1 plus g divided by r minus g. So the uh, <clears throat> so the uh, um, price here uh, they give it um, they give it to you. So anyway, the uh, I guess I wrote over it, but p zero is equal to 0.550 cents times one plus 0 0.02 divided by r minus g which is 0.15 minus 0.02 and that is three dollars and 92 cents so, so if you if you you're uh the uh, if if the problem says expects to pay that it, equals d1 so you need to keep track of that or you will miscalculate the uh, problem yeah so all right so differential growth so um assume that different assuming that we assume that dividends grow at different rates for the foreseeable future uh, and then we'll grow at a constant rate thereafter so this is probably the most common way stocks are valued um, I, except for possibly a stock that is mature meaning that its uh, growth cycle is over so uh, we will let's uh, we'll start uh, start the next lecture with differential growth